Uh, I think the question that many of you have is what's next? And that is the question that we are going to take a very big bite at in this next presentation. Blockchain, quantum computing, augmented reality, machine learning, Internet of Things, all these are emerging technologies that can have a game-changing impact on organizations. Each technology is rapidly reaching a level of maturity that makes it easier to implement and therefore much more disruptive. This presentation will discuss key emerging technologies and their impact on organizations. This keynote titled, What's Next? Turbocharging Your Business with Emerging Technologies is presented by the Chief Commercial Officer of Huawei Cloud. Would you please welcome Dr. Andrew Ang. Hi. Uh, hello. Hi. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Um, I think it's, a, it's an honor, actually, to be uh, the final keynote speaker, actually. Um, so what, what I what I first going to do is... Um, there were, there's already so much discussion about how organizations are transforming. Um, so I'll probably sum up um, the session for the whole day with regards to uh, what are the technologies that you actually required uh, to transform. Um, so let me go to my next slide. So it's basically about um, how do we accelerate digitization? What are the technologies that would be required? Uh, and don't worry, I'll not be going through every single technology which our MC mentioned, because that's going to take uh, forever. Um, and what the key focus is the word relentless innovation, yeah? And, and that, that happens to be in the blood of uh, our organization as well. I mean, if you look at our organization, uh, you may know, out of the 200,000 employees within Huawei, 50% of them are actually working on R&D. Um, so so I'm, I'm sure you won't see a lot of organizations that spend 50% of the uh, staff uh, just purely on R&D. So um, there, was, there was a question earlier on, I think by Annie, during the moderation, what keeps C C CEOs uh, awake, right? So I, I too have an answer for that, actually. Um, yeah, I mean, it could be uh, the Fortune 500 CXOs being replaced by AI one day. Uh, we never know. Um, more interestingly enough, if you look at that picture, uh, it mentioned that um, digital is the main reason that half of the Fortune 500 companies have disappeared um, since year 2000, actually. So uh, look at it, uh, just within 20 years of innovation digitization, uh, you have realized that half of these Fortune 500 companies have disappeared. So uh, innovation is really important. Uh, I've also realized one thing, I'm not sure whether the audience realized this or not. As industry transform, uh, this one, this, words are transforming as well. Uh, what do I mean by words are transforming? Uh, we've, we've, we've been hearing a lot about innovation, We've been hearing a lot about digitization, that's the next word. Subsequently, we've been hearing a lot about AI. And then these days, we've been hearing a lot about cloud. And after cloud, what is it? The other word that, we, that you will probably be hearing a lot is cloud, nat cloud native, actually. So uh, words are transforming as well. So examples of some of the incumbents that uh, fail to innovate uh, and uh, being disrupted. So. Uh, that's why it's important for us to really look at um, how to innovate our business and what are the, what are the technologies that's required um, to innovate our business. So it, it may not necessarily purely be just on digitization strategy. It's actually a corporate business strategy first, then followed by your digitization strategy, actually. Um, if you don't, I mean, look at, just look at uh, mobile phones, right? Uh, it's, it's evolved as well. Along, along the days, I think uh, for those of you uh, who's probably my age, you will realize the... Um, on the left-hand side, right, uh, those, we call it the brick phone, right? And it has transformed so much already as well. Um, I would like to show you a video uh, next uh, where you can see how the phone uh, companies are evolving as well. So the video, please. Yeah, so uh, interesting, right? So if you don't if you don't transform this, is what happened? You get replaced, right? Uh, so so as, uh, that's why it's important for us to really look into uh, trans transformation. But the question is, uh, how? Uh, I'm not going to touch uh, touch on the how, as I mentioned, because the whole day session has been touching on how uh, organization how organizations have been transforming. So I'm going to touch on the technologies actually. 
Um, so in terms of uh, industry that we see uh, who are literally really taking the leap, right? Um, as you can see, uh, the first sector would be the ICT, media, and the finance. Second sector would be the uh, consumer-facing industries, followed by government-related industries, followed by capital-intensive industries, um, and of course, the, uh, some, some of the fragmented sectors, including uh, construction, hospitality, uh, and so forth. Uh, but the important thing is, uh, look at the graph itself. I mean, if you look at the graph, the, the graph right, you will notice that um, there's a big difference, actually, uh, as time goes by, if you do not leap on the digitization roadmap right now. The gap is getting further and further away uh, for you to... Uh, uh, for you to chase your, your, your competitor, actually. I mean, uh, it used to be two times, five times, six times, and then we go, it just keep going up, yeah? So it's important really for us to look into uh, taking the leap uh, as soon as we can. So um, what are some of the, uh, so an example of a call center, what are some of the uh, hot technologies um, that a lot of um, our customers are looking at? So you can see um, it all started from IoT, right? Um, looking, looking at uh, how, we, how we can um, automatically detect device faults all the way to all the various AI applications, followed by um, a lot of requirements on our video, actually. Um, and lastly, of course, um, moving everything into, uh, into cloud, actually. Um, next. Um, what has COVID-19 caused uh, the biggest changes to the industry? Um, it's just one word, actually, cloudification. Um, and you can see, uh, specifically, 97% of large enterprise will deploy artificial intelligence by 2025, actually. So 97%, which is uh, quite a fair bit. Um, in general, the, the pandemic actually has accelerated enterprise migration to cloud um, easily by uh, one to three years. Uh, we, do see, we do see that uh, one out of four um, organizations think that uh, the growth will be more than 20% in terms of uh, uh, cloudification. And 86% of business managers expect uh, digital investment to increase, actually, uh, which I, I'm sure you can see from uh, all your customers' uh, requirements as well. So talking about uh, cloudification, um, what are the trends that we see customers um, Moving into cloud, um, definitely there was a lot of discussion about uh, hybrid cloud. For a start, for a start, for most organizations who are currently on-prem, um, definitely moving into a hybrid cloud could be one of the uh, key strategy first. Um, before even looking into uh, moving into uh, completely into public cloud. So, what are some of the phases of uh, cloud trends that we see here? Uh, we see organizations literally starting to go straight into a public cloud. Um, we see organizations moving into hybrid cloud. And the other trend that we've been seeing uh, lately, uh, very more and more, it's getting more and more apparent actually, right? Which is the word multi-cloud actually. Uh, would you want to place your eggs in one basket? So in short, right? Um, so multi-cloud has, has been a big talking point uh, among us uh, and our customers. So um, moving on from cloud, um, I'm going to talk about cloud native actually. Um, so, so there, there's no you kind of true digitization without cloud native development. Um, and 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 why and why why is that why is that the case? So we can see that there's a big move from uh, from cloud into cloud native simply because uh, all the organizations are trying to try and develop services or applications as fast as possible. You want to go and leverage all the microservices that are available in the ecosystems, uh, and you want to be able to try, test, and fail fast as well. Um, so the only way to do that really is to uh, go cloud native um, from day one as much as you can. And we've been seeing a trend, uh, a very strong trend as well, with regards to uh, customers moving completely uh, into cloud, cloud native or even starting uh, to go into cloud native from day one. So uh, for those of you who are not sure of Huawei Cloud, in fact, I was talking to some audience and they said, that, oh, okay, uh, Huawei, Huawei, I didn't know Huawei has got cloud. Um, just a quick snapshot, Huawei is a uh, number two cloud uh, in China. We are ranked number five uh, globally. Uh, in Singapore itself, we have actually have got four available, four plus one, which is actually, is, is really, it's going to be running soon. So it's five availability zone just in Singapore. 
So data will always be, uh, be in Singapore. So rest assured about uh, data sovereignty uh, issues as well. Um, of course, we have, we have the usual uh, 200 plus of our cloud services and micro uh, services as well. So um, other, other areas uh, that we see a uh, couple of trends that our customers are interested in, uh, basically areas of autonomous driving networks, uh, looking into self-healing self of uh, faults, uh, ability to predict faults um, agnostically, and, and of course, uh, trying to optimize uh, the network um, by themselves. So, so the keyword autonomous driving networks is another area that we see uh, a lot of growth. The next would be uh, in the clean energy space. Um, definitely, if you look at how the world is uh, transforming these days, um, we, do see, we do see a lot of focus on uh, the five major areas, specifically clean power generation, energy digitization, uh, transportation electrification is one that is very apparent in Singapore with the growing uh, number of uh, EVs uh, charging, charging station going around. Uh, green ICT infrastructure is also another area, uh, plus uh, integrated smart energy. So um, putting all these uh, ma five major areas onto um, cloud services um, is, is, a, is a very apparent um, move where we see a lot of our clients start to engage us to discuss on. So last but not least, I mean, uh, from, from our perspective, in order for us to build a fully connected intelligent world, we do see ubiquitous cloud, pervasive AI, autonomous driving network, low carbon digital technologies as a very strong um, move where a lot of customers would require such uh, technologies. With that, I'll end uh, the keynote for the day. Thanks everyone. Thank you very much, Andrew.